this week's feast? Royal tarts from Adventure Time and the official Feast, feast of, of Fiction, Fiction cookbook! cookbook. What's up everybody? Today is a special episode. We are finally making the Royal Tarts from Adventure Time because... This is your first official sneak peek into the Feast of Fiction Kitchen, our new cookbook that comes out April 28th. We pull out all the stops for you guys in this book. It's over 50 recipes, almost 200 pages of the most gorgeous pictures and recipes you've ever seen. You guys are going to love it. But we can't show you any of it right now. This is just a sneak peek. So what you can do is pre-order it. The links are gonna be below and we're gonna be posting it everywhere. But for now, we're gonna give you a little taste. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. Finn and Jake are entrusted by Princess Bubblegum to deliver some of the most perfect and totes sweet tarts made in the Tartorium. Boy, that's a mouthful. But by the end of this episode of Feast of Fiction, you're gonna be getting your own mouthful of a picture-perfect royal tart. Kick things off by preparing a tart crust. If you get the Feast of Fiction kitchen cookbook, you'll be able to use our own custom recipe. So here's what the final product looks like. Roll it out on a floured surface until it's about a quarter inch to half inch thick. Cut out circles around some tart pans and carefully press the dough into each pan working around the edges to mold the ridges. Cut off any excess off the top, and be careful not to pinch too hard when molding these. You don't want to break through the dough. Once your tart pans are prepared, place them on a baking sheet and use a fork to dock each mini tart on the bottoms and sides. The little holes will help the steam escape from the dough when it's baking so it doesn't puff up too much in the oven. Place these to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, and then take them out and let them cool completely when they're done. For the inner royal glaze, cut up two and a half cups of fresh strawberries and puree them in a blender. But don't use up all of your fruit. Leave a few picture-perfect strawberries uncut and on the side for the final product shots. In a saucepan over low heat, combine sugar, water, and when it's warmed up, add in cornstarch and corn syrup. Stir this vigorously with a whisk until you remove as many chunks as possible. Add in your pureed strawberry mixture and bring the pot to a boil, stirring and whisking throughout. When it's boiling, take it off the heat, set it aside, and quickly add in strawberry gelatin, which will add a dark red to the color and help it thicken to perfection inside the royal tart crust. When that's all mixed in, pour the entire glaze through a sieve to remove any seeds or residual lumps from the gelatin and cornstarch. Take this mixture and pour it slowly and evenly into your now cooled mini tarts. Let gravity flatten it, or just sort of bang it on the table a little bit so it's as even as possible on top. Then place the tarts in the refrigerator to cool and set for at least two hours. You want it to be completely thickened. When they're finished, take the leftover strawberries and cut them down the middle in half, making sure you leave the leaves still attached to the top. Place these directly in the middle of your tarts and voila! the royalist tarts this kingdom ever did see. Adventure Time always adds so many fun recipes for us to try out and make on this show, and we're so happy to finally bring you one that's been requested, and they really are just as delicious as they look. You can find the official recipe as well as all of these beautiful pictures in the Feast of Fiction Kitchen Cookbook. There are 54 other unique and awesome recipes complete with stunning full-size pictures, and we dedicated so much time and effort into making our first cookbook as great as we could, so please, check it out. And as always, these recipes were made possible because of the lovely support of our patrons. We shout out one lucky patron every single week, so this very special episode is dedicated to... Who's that patron? It's Robert Urban! Robert Urban! Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I can't wait. I've had this before, and I know just how good it is. Ashley the dog, Jake the dog, yeah. Finny Wong. <laughs> you guys have been waiting for nine years to get this recipe. I know, right? That's why we had to save it for the cookbook. It is so good and so cute. Yeah, Ashley, you spent so much time preparing and testing all of these recipes over and over and over again so that we're bringing you recipes that we really put blood, sweat, and tears into just to be the perfect recipes for you guys. Yeah, and we know you guys are going to love them. This one included. It is so good. Mm -hmm. So easy to do. You know, you can make your pie crust from scratch. We have a recipe for that, obviously. But if you are in a pinch or don't have a lot of time, you could totally buy a store-bought refrigerated pie crust and do this, which is yeah. the beauty of this recipe. It's very functional. It's efficient, but also amazing. It looks gorgeous. Yeah. So when you show up anywhere with a plate of these, 
You are the ultimate coolest person already in the room. Yeah, and they're just absolutely delicious. They're Not so cute. Not to mention cute. they're amazingly delicious. So. And this is one of 55 different recipes in the cookbook. We are covering the entire spectrum of properties that you've seen on the show before, as well as brand new things that you've never ever seen but have requested. So yep. if there's a recipe they're like, why haven't they done it yet? There's a really good chance it's in the cookbook. So again, you can pre-order the cookbook right now, support the show. This is something that we've been working towards our entire careers to get mm -hmm. to this point comes out April 28th. You can buy it from almost every single retailer. Yep, and you guys have been very excited about it too. You know, we've been getting your comments for the last nine years, like, where's the cookbook? When y'all doing a cookbook? Well, we are so excited because this is for you guys. The yeah. Try It and the True Feast of Fiction fans, we know you're gonna really appreciate this book and we're just so happy and excited to reveal it to the world mm -hmm. as well as this recipe. And in the next coming weeks before the book comes out, we will be releasing a couple more sneak recipes peeks. and yeah. sneak peeks from the book just to get you guys excited about what you're getting yourselves into come April 28th. And here's the thing, we only wanted to make this cookbook when we knew and we thought that we were totally ready to do so. And it's been a long journey. We can't thank you guys enough for being with us the entire time or for however long you've been watching the show. Yep. But this is it, the culmination of our efforts, the Feast of Fiction cookbook. This is, I mean, look, I've read a lot of cookbooks and I'm not trying to be biased, but I honestly think this is one of the best cookbooks I've ever seen in my life. He's a little biased, but <laughs> it's really great. It really is. It's really great. Like this, hopefully, you know, this is the kind of thing we'll see pictures of on kitchen tables and coffee tables yeah. and dining room tables and kitchen counters and, it's just a very multifaceted, versatile cookbook that we know you guys will love sharing with your family and your friends. And and we want to give you a big virtual hug because it's amazing. We're so excited about it. Yep. So again, you can pre-order it. The links are below. You can also buy it in digital versions or you can pick one up for your friends or go to the stores on April 28th when it comes out. Lots of options, but we yes. can't thank you enough and we can't wait for you to see this cookbook. Yep. And we might even like be coming to a town near you because we might be doing a little book tour too. So a lot of stuff to get excited about. Hopefully this recipe kind of spurred the excitement going into 2020 because this is super exciting for not only us, but you guys as well. And as always, please leave a comment below if there is a recipe that you want to see us make next on the show or if there's a scene of food in a movie or TV show that you want us to react to. We're doing all of it now here at Feast of Fiction. Yep, and, and as always, we appreciate your comments, your concerns, and all of the lovely tidbits of morsels of information you'd like to leave for us in the comments section below. And a big thank you to our patrons at patreon.com slash piece of fiction for making the cookbook reality as well as this entire brand new set behind us. So again, thank you everyone so much for your support and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye bye.